Thank you for the introduction. My name is Joe and I'm representing the University of Toledo. We're located in the Midwestern part of the United States. Uh, what I wanna share basically today with you is uh, some important points about our university. Uh, right now we have over 20,000 international students that represent a portion of our total student body. Uh, we're a mid-sized university with about 20,000 total uh, students on campus. Uh, and as you see the chart there, we have over 16,000 undergrad and 4,200 plus graduate students. Uh, we're proud to be uh, able to say that we have 84 countries represented uh, as students uh, on our university campus. We have over 270 academic programs that is divided into undergraduate as well as graduate uh, programs. So we feel that we have a lot of flexibility for students to choose uh, various programs through our College of Business, through our Health Science, our Pharmacy, Engineering, which I'll talk uh, specifically uh, uh, throughout the presentation, and, and also having our law school. So as mentioned before, here talking about the various programs of interest for engineering. As you see listed there, we do offer a variety of undergraduate programs as well as the graduate programs. Uh, my role with the university is to share information about both levels of study. And then what we do then is we hand off that information to the undergraduate as well as the graduate advisors for the admission process. As you see listed, we do offer some technology-based programs uh, for those students that may not be interested in a science-based opportunity to be able to study in their desired field. Uh, we are ABET accredited, and it has been mentioned by a few of the other schools earlier. And want to highlight that our civil engineering undergraduate program generally is ranked within the top 20 uh, each year uh, within the United States. So we're really proud uh, with that uh, knowledge and ranking uh, for our civil engineering students. As mentioned before, students have an option between science and or the technology through the undergraduate program routes. What makes the University of Toledo a little unique is that we are one of eight U.S. four-year institutions that offer at least one semester of paid co-op or work experience. And to narrow that down, we're one of two universities that offer one full year of paid experience. Uh, generally, the co-ops are scheduled in a student's second, third, and fourth year. Uh, to allow their first year to get them settled with the coursework and the frame of study for their first year of classes. Uh, generally, the first summer semester within the second year, generally that's when those co-ops or work experiences are scheduled. Uh, right now, our average co-op wage is around 18 uh, US dollars per hour. Uh, so students are able to earn uh, a living wage and use that for their tuition fees and or any additional expenses uh, that may have uh, throughout our, our programs. Students generally ask where they can co-op. Uh, on this slide, you will see a number of uh, Fortune 500 companies. We have uh, over 35 Fortune 500 companies within three hours of the Toledo, Ohio area. Uh, we're not that far from Detroit, Michigan. So you'll see a number of the auto companies uh, listed there. So we're really proud to be able to offer opportunities with these Fortune 500 companies as part of their co-op experience. For those students that may want to 
extend outside of the Northwest Ohio area. Uh, we currently work with 46 states in the US and 44 countries abroad to assist those students with their co-op experience. We usually have two job fairs that allow students to meet with companies that are looking to hire. And we have about a 90% placement rate for our engineering students prior to them actually graduating. So we're really proud with that statistic. The next slide shows a situation or a opportunity that was provided by one of our engineering technology students. So a lot of students that come to the University of Toledo or inquire about the University of Toledo are looking at engineering science as a focus. Well, we have this gentleman, Tom Burden. He actually is a technology graduate and he is a Air Force mechanic. He had the opportunity back in 2018 to go on the hit show Shark Tank. He actually invented the grip mat, which allows him as a mechanic to be able to have a tool mat that keeps item in place at angles up to 70 degrees. He had a couple of the sharks actually go in with the opportunity for his business. And because of that, uh, Grip Mat was named one of Time Magazine's best inventions of that year. He was on Shark Tank. So we do have opportunities not only for our engineering science, but for also our technology students for those opportunities. Just wanted to show a quick testimonial from one of our chemical engineering students uh, from Sri Lanka. Uh, he will be actually graduating this fall. And in a conversation with him, he is looking at transitioning to a graduate major uh, here, staying in Toledo with the University of Toledo's College of Engineering graduate program. In my 20 plus years in higher education, I always wanna stress the importance of the support services for our students. Uh, each student will be assigned a academic advisor. We have a learning enhancement center, writing center, career services, and we have a designated center for our international students, simply called CISP, which will allow then for students to be able to get those questions answered in regards to immigration statuses, OPTs, co-op experience. So we wanna make sure that our students are well informed uh, on that process as our engineering students are getting ready for their co-op experience. What makes the University of Toledo a little unique is our success coaches. A success coach actually works with students outside of the classroom, uh, whether it's help with the tutoring, uh, with extra support outside of campus. And if students are maybe getting a little bit of homesick, if this is their first opportunity to come to the US, uh, we will try to uh, match up our current students from a specific country or area within that country uh, to maybe share a similar language, share a familiar meal uh, to help students with that transition, uh, being away from home and being away from their family. What makes the University of Toledo unique is the fact that we offer 400 plus student organizations, club sports, religious and cultural organizations. If you see the young lady there holding the edge of the banner, she is actually a student from India. She is a engineering student. Uh, I had met her family when I had visited Nashik and uh, my trip to India last year. Very hospitable and very appreciative of us at the University of Toledo, making sure that her daughter is safe and uh, making sure that she is successful uh, through her education as she transitions through her program. As mentioned before, from other institutions, if you're interested in applying to the University of Toledo, you can work with your study metro expert. 
what we're doing a little bit unique and different at the University of Toledo is we're still accepting undergraduate applications for fall 2020. And because of the embassies closed, we are offering students to start their program online uh, in hopes that students are able to schedule their visa appointments in the fall to be able to come and study in the US, fingers crossed, hopefully by the spring 2021 semester. Just some quick slides in regards to our various English language scores. So this screen will tell you the undergraduate language requirement for admission. We just added the Duolingo based off of the COVID-19. Uh, that will be continuing to accept moving forward. And our graduate English language program scores as well. And the graduate office is also accepting Duolingo as part of their options. For language exemptions, students who are coming from countries whose first language is English are exempt. Students graduating from a regionally accredited high school or college in the United States, or a college student who attended at least one full year at a accredited U.S. institution with a three-point or higher GPA will be exempted from language. And as mentioned earlier with the GRE, it really is going to depend on the department on whether they will require the GRE. If they do need the GRE score, the scores cannot be more than five years older in length. At both the graduate and undergraduate level, we do offer awards, scholarships, and with our graduate students, we do offer fellowships for those assistantships based off of the student's major and focus point. So that concludes my presentation. Thank you for your time. And towards the bottom, just gives you an idea, a focal point, how far we are from some major cities uh, in the Midwest, Detroit, Cleveland, Ohio, as well as Chicago, Illinois. So if there's any specific questions, I will stay around uh, for a chat, but I appreciate your time and listening to my presentation.